Hey everybody, this is Roy Campbell from Now001. Let's start with the Billy Goat. The Billy Goat um, belonged to a farmer. And the farmer had chickens, goats, uh, pigs, the whole farm life the farmer had. Okay? Now, the farmer realized that he didn't want this old billy goat no more. So, he took the billy goat in town and, and just left it. Well, of course, the billy goat found his way back to the house and and came back. And the, the farmer was like, oh, I, don't, I really don't want, didn't want this billy goat. I told you to leave. So, after about two weeks of going back and forth to town, dropping the billy goat off and... The farmer finally got fed up. Enough is enough, he said. And he went back into his back barn, and he had an old well that was dug up. And, um, you know, they hadn't used it for a while. So he took that billy goat, and he said, I told you, I'm done with you. You're, you're worthless, you're old. And he threw that billy goat in the ground. And he didn't feel like covering the billy goat up with dirt at the time. He said, oh, well, you know, I'll just let you die and go on about your business. But every day he would take some dirt and uh, throw on top of that billy goat. That billy goat would shake that dirt and just keep packing it under his feet. And every other day, so about a whole week or two went by, farmer every day would throw dirt on him. Bam! You know, two or three shovels of dirt. And Billy Goat keeps shaking it off, packing it on his feet. For a long, that Billy Goat was up so high that he was able to jump out of this well and run away, and the farmer never seen the goat again. So, when I heard that story, it was on a Southern Gospel CD. I don't know who actually, I heard that story, I don't know if it was C.L. Franklin, uh, Shirley Caesar, I can't remember. But that story has motivated me to the point that, you know, every time someone throws something on me or tell me I'm not worth I'm not worth anything, I'm never gonna mount anything, and they start throwing all this, you know, negativity on me, you know, what I do is I sh shake it off. You know, I just shake it off and I pack it up under my feet. You know, I shake it off and I pack it up under my feet. And that, that's the story of the billy goat. You shake it off and you pack it up under your feet. And you use that negativity to elevate you to a high level in your life. Shake it off, pack it up under your feet, use the negativity, just like the billy goat did the dirt in the old dug well. Shake that stuff off and pack it up under your feet and use it to elevate you to a higher level level in your life. It's the story of the Billy Go. You know, the show's challenged. Am I willing to play with one die? Of course I am. Of course I am. Does the game does the game require two die? It depends on what you're playing. But it don't make any difference. I'm gonna play with my one die. You know, I'm going to play with one die, and I'm going to tell you something else. I'm going to win with one die. So the odds, the odds are always against me, against you, against everybody. Except the people who realize that the game is not based on the, you, the tools that you have. You know, and especially in multi-level marketing, the game is not based on the tools that you have. Because if, if tools made you a successful multi-level marketer, made you a successful direct sales rep, if, if tools made you a successful network marketer, then everybody would be highly, highly successful. Everybody would have two or three hundred people in their downline on auto ship. So it's not the tools. So that's, that, that's, the, that's the reason of the one die. It shows challenge.